All right, next problem. I'm just going to give you an overview of this problem because it's in the book. Uh, so step back and give an overview. If you have a rocket that was going with an initial velocity, so it's like we could do this given find solution. Initially, it was traveling upwards at 75 meters per second. And initially, it's four meters off the ground. And then the engine fails. So, so I'm not really considering when the engine was on, when it had thrust, when it was going from zero to 40. I'm kind of picking up. Just to clarify, I'm picking up at 40. It had a velocity of 75, and now the engine has failed. And so when the engine has failed, and it tells you this right here, um, and we'll talk about projectiles, but when we have a projectile that has no thrust and we're neglecting air resistance, then the acceleration is down 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? So that's that's really what was given in the problem statement find the maximum height and find the speed before just before it hits the ground just before it hits the ground all right so then I, then we would start working on our solution so a few things here <clears throat> Maybe some notes. Um, acceleration is a constant 9.81 meters per second squared. So what does that mean? I can use constant acceleration equations, which, which I love, right? No integrals, no derivatives. Let's just use those constant acceleration equations, all right? So I would break, uh, or let's talk about maximum height. How can we find the maximum height? What is happening at the maximum height? Yes, so just making sure that I can definitely throw something like that at you on a test. At the maximum height, the velocity in the y direction is zero. We'll, we'll, but this is all, this is 1D, so we don't have to worry about that. But yes, at the maximum height, Velocity equals zero. Technically, it's really the y velocity that we're looking at right here. Velocity is equal to zero. <clears throat> so, I, if I were you, I would break this up kind of like we did with that problem where we walked, you know, we started at seven and we walked backwards to nine, negative 93, then walked forward. Anytime velocity is equal to zero, kind of break it up into sections. And so first I would go from A to B using constant acceleration equations to find maximum height. And then I would go from B to C using constant acceleration equations to find V final. Um, I think here from, you could go from B to C or you could go from A to C uh, to find that V final. All right, so there's kind of an o roadmap, an overview. You could use constant acceleration equations, and you, the, at the maximum height, velocity equals zero, so it makes sense to kind of break it up into A, B, and then B, C. So A, B, a whole problem for A, B, using a constant acceleration equation. Which constant acceleration equation? I, I don't know, you know, look at all three of them, figure out what you know, Figure out what you're trying to find uh, and figure out which one of those three constant acceleration equations you should use. All right. Uh, and then I'd go from B to C using one, one out of those three constant acceleration equations. All right. All right. Not too bad. So, so projectiles, we'll, we'll talk about projectiles, objects that are flying through the air with no thrust, no engine. Okay. Objects that are just, passively flying through the air are projectiles and their acceleration is 9.81 meters per second squared down and it's a constant 9.81 meters per second squared down okay all right